Yes, all right. Welcome back to Kosi's Asna Podcast. My name is Kosi, and how are you guys doing? Smash the like button, get your subscriptions in, because I'm here with the latest of Arsenal transfer news. Aidan Hazard, Aaron Ramsey, two players linked, two deals that I think are quite impossible, but we are going to be discussing that and more. Smash the like button, get your subscriptions in, and I'm going to tell you the latest, the latest when it comes to us to signing in new players. We are also linked with a Barcelona goalkeeper. So there is much to discuss on my table. And all I require is you subscribe. But by the way, tell me, guys, what do you think about Abu Ramsey returning? You know, he's one of those players that I really miss at Arsenal. And the way he left, I don't think it was that bad, was it? I mean, I really miss him. He's one of those players that I would want to see return. But the question is, did he leave such a legacy that we have to bring him back and how sure are we that when we bring him up he will deliver smash the like button guys tell me what you think about Aaron Ramsey but tell me what you think about Eddie Naza. I'm going to be discussing much of those stories as well as Barcelona's goalkeeper Neto I'll be talking about Filippo Coutinho in a while when I get more um news about him but you know, for now, let us talk about these three. First and foremost, um, Arsenal is linked with Edin Hazard. Real Madrid flop. Real Ma is he a flop? I mean, I've, been, I've seen a couple of people arguing and a couple of debates whether, you know, he is a flop. Did he actually flop at Real Madrid? You know, things like that. And, you know, all I can say is I think he flopped. I think he is a Real Madrid flop. I, I, I think he's flop. You know, I, I, I think he's a flop. I don't think he's a player that Real Madrid can rejoice in after signing him. I don't think he is the, you know, the, the Eden Hazard we knew at Chelsea. I don't think he is the player that Real Madrid signed. Of course, you know, you're going to say injuries actually affected him. And, and of course, there is a big question there. When a player is affected by injuries... Is, you know, does he then become a flop? Because re literally flop means a player who has not worked for the club, a player who has not actually been a success. And the truth is, Eddie Naza has gone to Real Madrid and he is not a success. He has put on a, a lot of weight. I don't know whether he doesn't work out or something like that, but he is a flop. Injuries have disturbed him ever since he went down to Spain. Um, all of us thought he was going to become this kind of player that you know, is going to revive Real Madrid. After losing Cristiano Ronaldo, they needed that person. He could, you know, he could have been Eddie Naza. Now, he's been linked with us. Now, of course, Real Madrid will have to offload him and a couple of other players who are getting big wages. Um, and of course, if they want to sign in more, new players like Ireland, uh, like, like, like Mbappe and a couple of others, they'll need to sign, yeah, they'll need to, to, to sell off some players. Okay, they'll need to clear out some dead wood, um, just like Arsenal have been doing in this generation's window. And one of the players that might actually leave the club is Eden Hazard. He signed for around 83 to 90 million pounds. That is a huge amount of money. He has not worked at, a, uh, at Real Madrid. If Arsenal are going to go for him, then we are looking at around 50 to 60 million pounds. He is old. He is 30, isn't he? Is he the kind of player that I think Arsenal need? Prime Eden Hazard is the kind of player that Arsenal need. Prime Eden Hazard, there is, you know, there is no club that would, re would refuse Prime Eden Hazard. But right now, it wouldn't be nice business. It would be wrong to go for a player like Eden Hazard. Expensive, high wedges. You don't, you know, he's getting old. Pace is, 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 his pace has declined. He's now affected by injuries. There is actually no way you're going to convince me that Eden Hazard can come back to the Premier League and, and not become Gareth Bell. I think both of them just need to go to either China or USA, play football there. But in the Premier League, for me, I think it is still over. It is over for them. I don't see Eden Hazard come to the Premier League, come to Arsenal and become that kind of player that we want. Because we want a game controller and he is that kind of player. I think, you know... We know what Eden Hazard can provide. We know what Ed Eden Hazard is capable, capable of. We know what you know, he can give Arsenal. But he is not that kind of player 
right now he was three years ago he was four years ago when he was at chelsea when he was at Lille metropo almost seven years ago um he was that kind of player and i think it was a very very big mistake arsenal going to Lille and sign javino yao kwasi we didn't sign edinaza i mean there's so many conspiracy theories on, on on why we didn't sign him how close we were to signing him and all those things but the truth is we you know we should have signed him seven years ago right now it is an unwise deal us to shouldn't go for the same way i'll say um if we you know if we if, if we decided to go for, to go for a player like felipe cotino i would say it's an unwise deal we shouldn't go for However, um, moving away from that, there is a big story we need to talk about is um, about Neto. Now, Neto is a backup goalkeeper Barcelona and the same financial situation um, that is hurting Real Madrid times two is hurting Barcelona. Actually, Barcelona are in a very, very critical financial situation and they're looking to offload players, clear some dead wood in order for them to bring in some new players and of course to trim their squad, obviously. Now, we have wanted NATO in the general store window. We wanted NATO um, of, uh, as a backup goalkeeper because we never had a backup goalkeeper to Leno. And we've seen Leno getting a red card, and we are lucky that we had Matt Ryan um, in goal a couple of saves against uh, Aston Villa. That was really brilliant. But look, NATO, if, 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 if NATO is coming to us you now at around eight, seven million, that's a good deal. I'll go for it. Um, then you negotiate the wages, but if it is 10 million plus, then I'm not going to actually settle him. And actually, I think, yeah, he's our, uh, he's our target and Barcelona are willing to sell him. But I think it would have been better if actually we signed a goalkeeper in the names of Matt Ryan. Give Matt Ryan some time, let him play at Arsenal, you know, prove whether he is worth being at the bench or, you know, being our second goalkeeper. If you know if he's worth it, then you know retain him. I, there is no reason as why we know we should go for Neto when we have Matt Ryan. I, for me, I think Ryan is a decent goalkeeper. We just need to give him that kind of you know trust, that kind of environment that actually um, causes him to be that kind of player that feels a little bit needed at the club. Now, Aaron Ramsey, as I as I ra a round up this edition, Ramsey is linked back with Arsenal, and he is a player that left the club should i say were they three years ago two years ago um as a free agent um we wanted him to sign a new deal but of course we were not going to give you the money he wanted he protested um had went to juventus um where i don't think he's became he, he's he, he has been a great you know a great talent i don't think he's become um a great signing at, at, at juventus he, he 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 never was at, at arsenal but you know you know what i think about Ramsey, yeah Ramsey is this kind of player that always, always provides when a team needs him. He is not a super talent, though I think, you know, he's very, very talented. But, you know, he doesn't, he is not an Eden Hazard. He's not a Felipe Coutinho. He's not a Sadio Mane. He's not um, an Alexis Sanchez or Messi Rozil. He is not in that caliber. That's the truth. But first and foremost, his work rate is so, so good. He has a very nice work rate, um, and I love it. You know, I love him for it. The second thing I think is a very loyal player, very loyal, and he, he, I think he's so versatile. He's, we've seen him play, you know, in that number eight role. We, you know, we've seen him play in that um, a right wing, you know, you know, right midfield, you know, wing role. So he's he's that talented. He's that versatile. He can play all over the pitch. Now, Mikel Arteta has played with Aaron Ramsey before, and now he wants him back um, at Arsenal. The big question, of course, there. Um, comes is Aaron Ramsey fit to come back at Arsenal? There are going to be mixed opinions, um, and that's the question in this video. Would you take Aaron Ramsey back um, at the Emirates Stadium? And of course, like I said, there are going to be mis uh, mixed re uh, reactions in this video. Many of you are going to tell me, you know, because he went, he left. Um, there isn't anything he's going to add to the club. Um, let him stay where he is. Um, he left for the money or, 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 or whatever reasons why he left. Uh, we don't want to see him back. And now people like me who love Ramsey as a person, and I, I still think he's a very good player, very good squad player. He could come at the Arsenal side. Look, when Thomas Partey gets injured, you could use, um, the, you know, Aaron Ramsey because he, he might not have the defensive attributes in there. But I think what Ramsey gives you is the ability to transform and transport that ball from back to front. And I think that's one of the problems that Arsenal have. If it's not Partey, who is it then? Um, Partey, Emily Smith, Rowe, and then uh, and then Odegaard. Now, so we need more and more players. Uh, you know, really to um, 
you know, to drive that ball forward. And I think Aaron Ramsey could be that kind of player. Um, like I said, you can't agree with me. You can't disagree. I have no problems with that. Um, I really think, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a matter of whether you think Aaron Ramsey is a good player. But Mikel Arteta wants him, um, you know, it's, it's really tricky. It's really tricky. I, I don't know when it comes back to us to whether he can actually become this kind of player that is um, more regular. But I, I, I see him um, as a squad player when he comes back. I don't see him as a player who regularly starts. I see him as a squad player, um, you know, all the time. And I think, you know, we really need good squad players. You need, you need a good bench. Um, Rams is a player who can come from the bench and score a goal. He's a, a player who can um, come from the bench and, and, and change a game. And I think that's one of the reasons actually uh, why I love him as a player. But anyway, I'm going to be... Um, you know, signing out, but let us continue the, disco the, the, the discuss uh, or the discussion in the comments. What do you think about Edwin Ramsey? What do you think about Edin Hazard? Should we actually waste our money, precious money, to get Edin Hazard from Real Madrid? And should we invest or should we actually reinvest um, in Edwin Ramsey to come back to Arsenal? And how about uh, Barcelona's um, goalkeeper uh, Neto? Should we actually be looking at his signature? Smash a like on this video and I'll speak to you in the next one.